Hey guys, how are you today? This is your girl, Miss Debs, coming to you from Deborah's Delicious Dishes, giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised. Today, I'm making a healthy meal. I'm having a Garden Delight veggies. I'm using fettuccine. You can use whatever brand you want if you make this recipe. This is Ranzoni. And I have um, ground turkey, 93.7. I have turkey, Italian sausage. I'm going to use the ragu simply, no sugar added, 100% olive oil. Then I have two uh, cans of tomato sauce, roasted garlic. And I have a package of um, seasoning right here. It's like a sazon with a little meat tenderizer in it. You know, I don't really like meat tenderizer, but just a little. And onion. And then I have some chopped up, let me get out the shadows, some chopped up onions here and some cut up peppers. And then we're just going to have a garden salad on the side with a little croutons and some Parmesan Romano cheese to go on top of the spaghettis. Okay, let's go over here, guys. Okay, guys, so now I have a little pepperoncini olive oil in this pan, as you can see, right? So now I'm going to add my meat mixture back. Yeah, guys, I didn't mean to get so deep, you know, um, but it's just some, um, we as people got to learn to band together. We, we really do. And, and that's, that's my philosophy. That's what I stand for. Like, I mean, there's so many things going on bad in the world. You never know what's on somebody's mind, why they're acting the way they're acting. But um, we as people should learn to just be there for one another. Um, this is the Simply... No sugar added olive oil, but I'm going to tell you guys something. I did add a teaspoon to my tomato um, sauce because I don't want that too much tartness. You know what I'm saying? So, this is the two cans of the roasted garlic tomato sauce. So I just rinsed my noodles just a little bit and I just got them laying in the cut. Yeah, I said laying in the cut. <laughs> All right. So we're going to let that go. I'm going to um, add a little more. I know that's a lot of sauce, but you can always freeze it and use it for something else, you know. All right, guys. So... I'm going to let that go. I'm going to add a little of the salt-free dash. And this is the tomato, basil, and garlic flavor. It's not salty at all. And I'm going to put one bay leaf in this, okay? All right, here we go. You can send her up in 10 minutes. Okay, after she finished. Oh, okay, just sit up in like five minutes. All right, bye-bye. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is my bay leaves. I'm going to put, let's put one, two in there, okay? So, guys, we're going to let that go. That's my daughter again on that phone. But anyway, we're going to let this go. We're going to let that cook for a good 20 minutes. I'm going to put a top on this, and then I'm going to put the fettuccine in another pan and put a little olive oil in there, okay? And a little uh, vegan um, butter. All right, I'll be back with you guys to show you the final result. I know it was quick. Okay, so the noodles are done. I'm putting the sauce over top. Okay, now I'm just going to put a little seasoning on top. I just taste the sauce. It's perfect. To me, it is. 
And I'm sure my family would love it as well. I'm just going to put a little of this on top. And I'm going to show you the salad, guys. I just threw the salad out the bag. Got it out the bag. Put a little um, red onions in it. And now I'm just dressing it up with a little dressing. And this is what your girl made. This is the salad. And these are honey butter uh, croutons. And that's my dinner. I'll show you a picture. And then that's it. Thank you guys for joining me today. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Um, I didn't have anyone to help me um, do my recording, but um, I did the best I could. So this is a nice little healthy salad, just a bag of garden salad with onions and uh, honey butter croutons in it. On it and this is the um, fettuccine. Fettuccine that I made with the um, turkey sausage and the turkey uh, ground. And it came out pretty decent, guys. It's something nice and healthy. Um, I will be doing my healthy meals, but I will put in a, um, a ordinary meal sometime as well. So um, I'm doing my little thing. I'm drinking my lemon water with my cucumbers. I'm just really trying and I'm doing my little exercise. I just want to be healthy. I just want to be, I want to live. <laughs> um, but I, I will be cooking. I always said that from Jump Street when I started on and off with the healthy thing. I said I will be doing my healthy and I also will be doing another type of meal as well sometime, okay? So guys, that's it. I'll show you the picture. Thank you for joining your girl Miss Debs today. I'll show you the picture. This is it, guys. The fettuccine and the turkey sausage and the ground turkey. And I just sprinkled a little seasoning on top and some little Romano Parmigiano cheese. And this is the salad. Put a little jalapeno peppers on top of that. And that's the dinner for tonight. Nice, quick, healthy, and fast. Thank you guys so much for joining Ms. Debs. Have a great evening. God bless you. Hey guys, how you doing? It's your girl, Miss Debs. I'm coming to you today because, you know, I had, well, first give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised. Um, thank you guys for joining my channel today. This is Miss Debs. I'm coming to you on behalf of my kitchen, Deborah's Delicious Dishes kitchen. Now guys, um, I had started this session, the Bible in 52 weeks for women, right? And you know, I told you the name of the author was Kimberly D. Moore. I only, I didn't even miss a session, um, for my little hiatus I had. Um, I just didn't do it yesterday, Wednesday, today is Thursday. So I'm like, I got to finish what I started with the Lord. You know, nothing can come between this. So here I am back up here. And for the ones that's have been, that have been follow, follow, following me diligently, I really appreciate it. Because this is just something to help us get through what we go through, you know? Okay, so let me do this real quick. Um, we're in week 11. Last, uh, last week was week 10. And it's called Bearing Burdens. Bearing Burdens. Let me get right into it, guys. Giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father God, let these words that come out of my mouth um, be a lesson to someone. Let it be something that someone can feed upon. Let it be a feeding to someone's soul, Father God. We're living in a world today where things are just chaotic. But the truth of the matter is, as long as I hold on, I found for myself, if I hold on to your hand, and don't worry about what tomorrow bring. Don't even worry about what today bring. Because, Father God, you have it all. You have all the answers. Thank you for this session today, Father God. Thank you for laying it on my heart to bring it to people and let it be a blessing to someone. And may it be a blessing to me as well. God bless you, Father God. Transition can be a means of evolving into something better. But you must be sure that you're intentional, that you're intentional and 
in how you do it. Because the enemy always seems to turn up the heat when you're going through transition. And that's what I've been going through lately. Um, as long as I was holding on to God and doing what I'm supposed to do, things were coming. And it was like I was getting hit like in a spiritual warfare. The enemy was hitting me big time, guys. Trust me. Okay, let me get back to this. It always seems to turn up the heat. When you're going through tra transition is when you find out how strong you are and how strong your prayer life is. In Deuteron um, Deuteronomy, we find Moses addressing the children of Israel, reminding them of their journey. He goes over all the twists and turns of their trek through the wilderness to help them understand where they come from and where they're going. I submit. That at this point, Moses isn't just trying to help them understand. He's trying to make sense of his own process of transition too. He starts off by reminding them of when the Lord told them they'd be stuck for too long at Mount Herod. And it was time to move on. God told them which path they that they'd have to travel and that they occupy the same land their ancestors were promised. Then Moses had an honest moment. He remembers how the children of Israel had grown into much, much into a much larger multitude that when they started out and admits he can not handle their many issues on his own. How can I bear your problems and your burdens and your disputes all by myself? Deuteronomy, therefore, that's in Deuteronomy, therefore, he follows the Lord directive and appoints wise and understanding and respectable men from within the community to help carry the load of the people. Moses sees their need more than ever while in transition, because when people are shifting from one place to the next, it can be challenging, confusing, confusing and chaotic. When you're a leader or someone other or, or someone others rely on, sometimes your community challenges become your challenge, your challenges, and their confusion becomes your confusion, and, they're, and you're handling their problems, you're finding solutions for them, but are you also relieving them of responsibilities or accountability? In a session of transition from better to best, you've got to let everyone work out their own salvation. Yes, this is hitting home. Yes, we are called to strengthen our brothers and sisters, and we've been directed to help them bear their borders when they are weak. But we're not designed to carry all of the loads ourselves. Not even Moses was. Galatians 6, 5 says that each one shall bear his own load. You may be accustomed to bailing everybody out. And of course, you want to help as much as you can, but we shouldn't enable people or prevent them from growing. Instead, encourage, empower, and celebrate them, but hold them accountable to carry their own load in the midst of their transgressions, of their transitions. Points to ponder. Would you consider yourself an enabler or one who empowers and why? As moms, leaders, or sisters, we have a tendency to run to the rescue. Can you think of a time where you intervened when you should have allowed someone to figure something out for themselves? What were the results? Can you see yourself transitioning from one level to the next right now? How has your process be, um, been? Actions for the weeks. Write a list of people you're supposed to help and how you think you're supposed to help them. Make note of exactly how much you'll help and where you'll draw the line. If you believe you're going through a transition, big or small, list the steps you can take to be successful. Make a timeline to help you meet your goals. I hope that has been an enlightenment to someone. I am sweating like a, <laughs> a pig in a slaughter shop. <laughs> But guys, I am doing so good. Like, um, I have so much to um, gain by trying to eat healthy. Now, like I said, even with my video, this is like a two-part video tonight. I'm talking about my sessions um, about the Bible in 52 weeks. And I'm also showing a day in the life of Miss Debs, what she's eating. So um, today I had a small breakfast um like a protein bar and my Stokes cold coffee because I'm totally addicted. And um, 
for lunch, I had um, a little lunch. I'll show you that. And then for dinner, I made something healthy. So I'm trying. But like I said, um, I will be up here doing healthy meals. And I also sometimes put in a meal, um, you know, that's not so healthy. You know, um, I took my braids halfway out. I, just, <laughs> I had to. These braids are getting hot. Summertime is coming, but um, it's okay. I took out half of them. And now I'm just um, concentrating on doing my little workouts in the morning, getting on my little disc and just getting this little, getting rid of these love hemp. <laughs> but um, I'm feeling good for all those who just wanted to know. It was just a spiritual journey. It was just a little break that I needed to take. And I won't be, I'll be coming up, but not as much as I was before. Then again, you know me, my mind goes from here to there. So I don't even know. But I'm just concentrating on God and trying to get me right. And I feel like I said this often and before, when you walk with God, not only do you have to do it mentally, physically, and spiritually, you have to do it emotionally. You have to get your body and your mind right. So um, that's what I'm on now. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. Let me upload this video so you can see it. Thank you guys for joining your girl, Ms. Debs. Have a beautiful day. God bless.